Hello and welcome to autoportal.com, the car buying website that helps you buy better. Well, usually you see me in an outdoor environment testing cars and telling you how good a product is. But today I am at Harpreet Ford in uh, Motinagar. Well, Ford of course is uh, completing five years now of uh, their uh, driving skills for life. And uh, the reason I'm holding this paper is because uh, they've given us a lot of equipment along with this paper to test and tell you about the hazards of not only drunk driving but also about uh, things like old age and uh, pregnant women and how cars are made for them differently and keeping people like that in mind. So what we've done right now is uh, got our colleague Ridhima from office and uh, she's wearing the drunk driving suit right now and I'll ask her to join me over here and uh, tell us a little more about how it feels and how the simulation is if you are wearing that suit. Well, as you can see, Rhythm is a little wobbly. She's not drunk, of course, but it's the effect of the suit. So, Rhythm, if you could just tell us uh, about the overall effect. Well, she'll have to remove this. If you can remove this and talk to us then. So, tell us how you felt behind the wheel wearing all this equipment. The vision was blurred. I couldn't hear anything. The rotary mo movement was also very slow. And uh, even my driving, the steering control wasn't in my hand, you know. It's better not to drink and drive. Yeah, I think they should take it uh, forward at a bigger level and really, you know, it's very imperative for driver awareness and uh, driving while you're under the influence. Well, cars aren't just made for uh, regular people or drunk people, they're also made for pregnant women. Well, Ford has also got a pregnancy suit with them to uh, tell us how it feels inside a car for a pregnant uh, person. And that really goes a long way in uh, showcasing you Ford's commitment to each and every individual inside a car. The empathy belly allows young engineers the chance to experience what it feels like to be pregnant and empathize with female customers. Pregnant women understandably have greater difficulty in entering and exiting cars and the empathy suit really helps engineers improve the design on Ford cars. This suit helps designers to better design things like seat bolsters, position of the rocker to step in and step out of the vehicle as well as the height of the roof. The empathy belly truly shows you Ford's commitment towards each and every passenger inside the car and really goes a long way in improving overall car design on the whole. Well, along with that, Ford has also given us the third age uh, suit, which of course uh, is something uh, which has low mobility. Now that's meant for older people and uh, figure out how their reaction is and uh, how their movement is inside a car. Well, the third age suit stimulates the lack of agility and fitness that people who are over 50 years usually display. And it gives young Ford engineers a chance to understand the needs of older people. This third age suit consists of many different elements. These elements can be put on to any engineer in less than 30 minutes. The suit greatly reduces the capability to move and also compromises on the sensory organs like sight. Ford engineers use this suit to get a first-hand account of the limitations elderly people face. And they use the experience from this suit to improve ergonomics on all Ford cars across the globe, not only for older people, but for passengers in general. Well, it's a bit of a struggle to walk straight uh, after wearing all this, uh, but this really goes to show you Ford's commitment towards safer cars and also the fact that Ford really does take care of uh, everyone in the family.